something about their selves, about uh, their life. It's going to take a while. That's fine. But I want to finish it today. Jason comes from a broken home. Um, he lives with a father and a stepmother. He absolutely hates the stepmother. Um, he's re-offended six times and has uh, come back again and again. He's very lost. He needs to belong. Wow. The first thing I want to say is, please, if you take bookings for this place, I want to be the first to book it, okay? This looks like beautiful. Tell me about it. It's a peace place. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. Looks a little bit like Natal. Do you like Natal? Slanga rocks. Oh, Slanga rocks. Is that where it is? Because that's the way the trees grow there. Huh? He absolutely loved doing it. Uh -huh. And he loved being at the sea. And these guys, who are they? They like doing all the cleaning up and stuff. Ah, okay. They like preparing a guest house, if you want to call it a guest house. And this is a guest house, and um, these are cleaning and making the guest house beautiful. And that is where he lives, so he gets an income from the guest house, and then when he works, it's pure profit, and he can buy all the things that he's ever dreamed to buy. Did you see it often, such a blue? No, no, no. Uh -huh. very seldom, did yeah. Did In fact, I think it's almost the first time I've seen such a big sea. Mm -hmm. So he needed also not to look or to represent one of his problems now, because no. there are no problems here. It's no. just a beautiful place, but it could also be uh, uh, like a regressive wish that he wants it to have easy in life, which is not so possible. Yeah. What he, do you think? He said to me, this is my dream. Yes, oh, that's good yeah. that he said it, so yeah. he knows it. Yeah. This is my dream, basically. Yeah. To have this. To have that. Yeah. adults who uh, know that they hold the emotional processes which happens in that atmosphere. So also the therapists and the volunteers need uh, always kind of debriefing uh, to be that emotional burden. And what was difficult for you in, in the beginning? Yeah, the interpretation, I think, at Afterwards. some point. Yes. I think I agree with that, that it's... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, the interpretation, it's not even so important because anyway, you will not understand everything at the first time and maybe not at the second, but only if you have seen the story or more sound plays. But uh, important for the child is that you um, observe it and are present with your thoughts, whatever you think about this, and with your feelings. The facilitator um, are normally local people who have had a very short training and they are, have a very different role from the psychotherapists. Their training includes a self-experience in sample, at least four sessions of self-experience, so they know how it is to put their hands in the sand and what you can feel. At first, it's, it's frightening. Yeah. You become Why? nervous. You uh -huh. become nervous. Why nervous? I mean, you're asking yourself, what am I going to do? And then the other thing, will it be the way I want it? Mm. What, is it what, what is it going to tell the therapist about me? You know, So you want to, must I say the right things? Must I say the wrong thing? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, once you do it, everything just flows. I couldn't even associate what I was doing with myself. Mm -hmm. you know. But only then when I started to explain, and which was a bit scary for me. <laughs> that you know, oh my word, this is exactly what is going on in my mind. With the same play, you just do your own thing. Nobody is 
saying you are wrong or right because remember there's no wrong or right you're saying whatever that what is in your mind that that comes in your mind first then you put it down mm -hmm. so that's how i thought it's more easily to express yourself more than anything else mm. We trust that in this setting, the psyche will produce whatever is necessary to produce. And the images heal themselves because from one image or one uh, sound play construction, the next time will evolve another one. And one could see a progress, one could see more structure, more differentiating. <laughs> between like God and the devil and you know how the devil creatures and are a lot and they're big and they're many but they're not really stronger they just intimidate fully fully on the one side he has Satan and he's um, hugely intimidating dark animals. Look at these animals, they're all like stupid animals. They don't have direction in life. They just, they just go with the flow. And on the other side, he has God, again represented by a tree, uh, with uh, animals that are efficient. Even the animals there, you know, they've got a purpose. They're not so lost in life. You know? Like, I mean, if you look at like the elephant, and the, the cheetah, you know, they're beautiful animals, powerful. You know, they can work in a group like where will you see a cow working in a group? They stay in herds, but they can't do anything together, like a cheetah or, a, or like a lion or anything. Like there, it's God uses people, uses intelligence. It's not how strong or how big you are, it's who you are and who you stand for. He is aware of the, um, of the war or of the struggle inside of himself between the good and the evil. And what is more, he wants to come out and help other people that are in the same struggle. I still feel that there's like this underlying meaning, I just don't know what it is. It's like there's, there's a meaning underneath all of it, even though it is a battle, and it's the same way it is. It's like there's something more with everything, with the way the battle is set up like this. I feel like my heart is telling me this, there's a bigger picture. You see the battle, you see the obvious but there's there's something that's like above it all and you know my goal is this battle you know, I need to change these people into those people and take them with me to heaven yeah there's, there's a purpose there's a meaning there's there's a goal there's something to achieve you know? to me I just want to be with God wants me to be In his second centre, he made um, three guest houses. Where about in Africa is this beautiful place? Do you know this place called, what was that place I called, told you about last time? The other place, Kruger National. What Kruger? Oh, the Kruger, Kruger National, National Park. Park. Yes. Not this one here. In Pumalang. The one in Pumalang. Pumalang. Yes. He makes pictures of security. He, uh, he calls them his future businesses. There's plants, there's vegetables, there's fruit, there's meat, what more do you need? There's water. What else do you need? See, there's three houses today. Yeah. Next time I'll put five or six. Why? Because every time I want to put myself on another league, another challenge, I want to make it bigger than... The other day I was by Mslanga, that was my first business. It's my second one. This one is in Mpumalanga. It's my imaginary place. 
I do call it, what is the name of the place? Zayina. Kruger Jason. National Jason. Or? Kruger National Jason Park. Yeah. I'm the designer. Is that like yes, a new picture? I'm the designer. I'm the owner. I'm everything. I'm the boss. I'm everything. Yes. I pay them to make sure this happens.